All right, I apologize ahead of time. There's gonna be some weird noises in the background. The wind has been howling through here all day and it's causing a lot of chaos as far as the noise goes. I have a kind of a unique situation today. This started out as a simple chunk of firewood and what I've done is cut it up on the bandsaw to make essentially six little mini slabs and I've already run them through the planer so they're all uniform thickness. What this is gonna be, for those that are interested, is shelves. So I'm gonna space them something like this. I'll have one spine in the back that connects all of them and then the whole thing can get hung up as a single unit. But I need to move forward on the next step of the milling process. This is going to be the backside. So these edges here need to be jointed, preserving as much of the live edge as possible. And then I need to deal with the ends. I would like to kind of use the angles that they're already at. I don't wanna just make them a bunch of rectangles. And then, like I said, preserve the live edge on the front as well. So there's a few different things that we could do, of course, run them through the joiner and all the different things. But when I sh what I wanted to show you guys today is the method that I decided to use. We're gonna use the table saw and we're gonna use this piece of MDF that has some sandpaper on it. This is an L fence or a pattern fence or a template fence. It just depends on who wants to call it what. And while most people will call it an L fence, mine sort of looks like a T and that's because when I made it, I went off a couple of fairly vague pictures that I found online and tried to replicate what I saw. The end result was a T. However, this fence works so good for so many different tasks here. Some of you guys have seen it in previous videos of mine as well. It's essentially two pieces of plywood that are roughly the same length as my stock table saw fence. One is four inches wide. The other one is an inch and a half. And then there, you know, this one's screwed to this one, making it basically one piece. There's two holes here that you'll see about six or seven inches down from either end. They're an inch and a quarter, and those are to be able to accept the head of an F-style clamp so that we can clamp it to this. Now, because I already had these clamps out, these are the dovetail clamps from Microjig, I'm just gonna use these. So that being said, you can use track clamps, F-style, whatever it is that you have in your shop. If you are running on this system, obviously it would be easy to just run a dovetail slot in here as well. There's a cutout here. It's about eight inches long, about two inches wide. When we use this, we're gonna end up with some cutoffs in here, and this is gonna give us like an access port so we can get in here and clean this out. And that's gonna make more sense as we go. So an L fence, pattern fence, template fence, whatever you wanna call it, very easy to make, works for a number of different things. Let me show you how to set this up. Now, if you look into L fences online, you're gonna see some with a whole bunch of different features and all kinds of stuff. In my opinion, if you use this one in its simplicity, the exact way I'm gonna show you how to set this up, every single time you'll never have a problem and you shouldn't really need the adjustability, or at least I'll say I haven't had to as of yet. I'm gonna lift my L fence up, taking the material that I'm going to cut, I'm gonna slide that right underneath here, just like this. And then I'm gonna use a piece of half inch, this just happens to be MDF, but I always have half inch scraps. I'm always gonna use a piece of half inch right on top of it. Then I just set the whole fence right down on top of those two and I clamp it right to my fence, just like this. We'll put one here and we'll put one here. And now I can remove these and this is the exact height that I want this at. Now by using that piece of half inch, if I bring this blade up, the bottom of the gullet is gonna be roughly right at the top of my material right here. And 90% of the time, that's where I prefer my blade height set. Now it's set at the right blade height, but I'm also not in fear of hitting my L fence either because I don't wanna damage this. So for me, a half inch spacer is the perfect combination. And of course, if you use a half inch spacer, always use a three quarter inch template and you're gonna be good to go. We'll go over this template here in just a second. But this is where I want my blade height set at. Now I'm ready to go. I just need to figure out where in this direction, left and right, I want my fence to be. And that is going to be running this edge flush with this side of the teeth. So if I take this square and I go through here, I already have this set ahead of time. I just adjust my fence in and out a little bit until I get these two flush to each other. So this edge flush to this side of the teeth. Now this L fence is completely set up for me to start running my material. Okay, so now let's talk about our template. This is simply a piece of three quarter inch MDF and I've cut this with the angles and everything on it 
so that it's basically the right shape as to how I want all of these because I want each one of these to be the exact same width at the exact same angle and basically in the exact same spot. For some grip, I have some used sanding discs that were sitting in the drawer waiting for a job. Now they have a job. I've used double side tape to attach them to this template so that it provides some grip. And if you look at when I set this down on here, I can very easily spin this around and drive it around with very little pressure. And that sandpaper does an excellent job of grabbing this and sending it aside. Of course, when I use it, I'm actually going to hold it and push it through. You can just use double-sided tape, but I find that if you have multiple pieces, getting that double-sided tape to reuse over and over again is kind of a chore. So you're only probably gonna get one or two out of each shelf and you're gonna have to put new tape on. This is sort of permanent and temporary at the same time. So this is gonna work and these are gonna stick for each one of these and much more. But when I'm done with this template, I can simply peel these off and just discard everything and use this piece of MDF for something else. Or if this was something I did all the time, I could just save this template. Now to use these, here's how this is going to work. My template is gonna sit right on top of my material like this. I'm gonna kind of split this side and this side since I don't have an exact landing spot for this quite yet. On the back side, I'm gonna hold it off maybe a 16th, maybe even close to an eighth inch. And now when I bring this up, this MDF is gonna ride up against this. And when I drive it through, hopefully you guys can see that, it's only gonna cut into this material down here and any waste here is gonna fall off into the inside here, but that's what this is for. So if I start to get a lot of waste inside of here, I can turn the machine off and get inside of here and clear all this out. That's what that access port was for. So I'll probably start with one of these ends. We'll just slide it right up against here and we'll drive it forward, putting downward pressure so my template holds still and pushing into the fence. So it's exactly like cutting with your normal fence. Drive it this way, it's gonna cleanly cut this off right up to this edge, then we'll turn it around. I'll cut this back side here, and then I'll turn it around again, and I'll slice this edge off. And then I can do that to every single one of these shelves. They will all end up 100% perfectly the exact same size as each other, exactly how I want it. All right, now as I stack all these back, the way that they came off the log to begin with, they're all the exact same width and cut to the exact same angle. We kept as much live edge as we could back here. And now our shelves are gonna look pretty nice and they're all the exact same size, which is what I wanted. I am super happy with how this turned out and I think this was the right way to do it because we can do all our cuts all at the same time. They're all gonna be 100% the same. L-Fence is so easy to make. It's so small and compact that it makes it really easy to store in your shop. So if you're running out of space because of jigs, this isn't gonna take up very much room at all. And you can make your template to whatever size you need. I've done hexagons before and it works very well for that as well. A lot of other things can be used with that L-Fence too, as we've talked about in the past and I'm sure we'll talk about again in the future. But again, half inch spacer, three quarter inch template. And as long as you follow those guidelines, you may not even need one that's adjustable. I know there's some really cool designs out there, but I've always been under the impression that simple is sometimes the best. So I really do hope this helps somebody tackle a project out there of their own. That's all I got for you guys today. Thanks so much as always. We'll see you guys in the next video.